welcome all of you in this video we are going to study the concept of shoring so what is shoring so it is a support which is provided temporarily okay it is not a permanent uh, structure it is a temporary support that is given to our structure okay that structure may be under construction or it may be repair or some alteration work suppose uh, you need to carry at this stage you can use this shoring so in simple word they are used to give the support to our structure and that support is then removed okay once the job is done okay so here you can see in this picture uh, these are the supports provided depending upon the work there are different types of supports you can provide we will see in the coming slides uh, different types of shoring okay now uh, we will directly move towards the application part so when we can use the shoring okay so first suppose there is an unequal settlement during the construction or during any period of its service life okay suppose there is unequal settlement of the structure removal of defective portion of the structure suppose there is some defective portion you need to remove so at that time you can provide the shoring that is another application then third one is remolding remodeling of walls changing position of windows suppose if there is a wall and there is a window and you want to change the location of window okay at that time also you can use this and then alteration in adjacent buildings so these are the applications of uh, shoring shoring in simple it is a temporary support that is provided okay and uh, these are some applications next so i have shown you one shoring there so that is made up of either timber or steel tubes so this is nothing but a material so the material is either timber or it can be steel tubes if you are using timber then the surface of the timber needs to be coated okay shoring to be designed based on the load it has to sustain means you need to design the shoring for the design you need to assess how much load is coming so that you can uh, take the sections okay and as per that you can apply those supports so it depends upon how much load is coming okay shoring may be internal or external okay so uh, suppose this is your structure so you can either give the support internally or you can give the support externally also means it can be given internally it can be given externally no time limit for the shoring means what there is uh, not a time period like that uh, for seven days you have to keep the shoring okay it is not like that unless and until your structure is not getting safe or you whatever you are doing the changes or repairing work you can keep your shoring okay now as per the requirement as per the requirement there are types of shoring okay so first type of shoring is racking or inclined shower okay racking or inclined so what is the use of this shower so this shower is used to give the external supports so for external support 
we can use this type of shoring. So I will show you here the figure single racking or inclined timber shower. So this is your wall and for this wall you need to give the support externally. Okay, as you can see it is inclined. So it is called as inclined shower or racking shower and the angle of this shower is generally kept 60 to 45 degree. So sorry 60 to 75 degree. So that should be the angle. So this is your wall and this is your shower and this is your ground. So this angle should be 60 to 75 degree and this uh, member is called as a racker. Here you can see this member is called as a racker. Here you can see one plate is there. So here you can see this is a plate. So this plate if it is not present here then it would be like a concentrated support because of this plate the support gets uniformly distributed. So the role of this plate is give supports uniformly. Okay, so that is a racking or inclined shower angle 60 to 75 degree and it, it is used for external support. Now next, flying or horizontal showers. As the name indicates flying means it won't have any contact with the ground. Okay, as in this case you can see it is taking the support from the ground. So it needs to be fixed carefully here. It needs to be fixed carefully here. So in case of flying or horizontal shower, suppose this is your one wall or one structure, this is your another structure, then flying showers will be something like this. That means it is not going to take the support from the ground. That's why it is called as flying shower. So very important, what is the application? It provides a very good restraint against tilting and overturning. Suppose any structure or part of structure is getting tilted or overturning. In those cases, you can use this flying shores. So this figure is flying shore. So here you can see one horizontal member is placed and then these inclined members are provided. These are your walls. These are your walls. These are your wall plates. I have already told you that these wall plates provide uniform support. So they have been uh, placed on both sides. Okay, here in simple, uh, you can see a flying shore, something like this. Okay, here there will be some locking and uh, support system will be provided. Okay. Next, dead or vertical shower. Okay, so here you can see in first case it was inclined, in second case it was horizontal, in third case it will be vertical. Okay. And it is provided on ground supporting vertical loads. So let's see the third type of shoring that is dead or vertical. So uh, let's suppose this is a uh, this is your wall. Okay, this is your roof. Okay. Now here you will see that one member is being placed here right and then whatever load is coming 
on this will get transferred towards the ground via these dead showers okay so you can work here in this segment so these are the application of dead showers or vertical showers So here you can see real uh, applications. So here you will see inclined supports are being provided. Here you will see vertical supports are provided. Here also you can see uh, the soil should not fall. So supports are being placed. So these are the applications of the shoring. So uh, in summary, I would say shoring are the temporary supports. Okay. Then they are made up of either steel or timber. Then there are three types of shoring. First one is, uh, uh, it is racking shore or incline, flying showers, horizontal or dead or vertical. Then you can uh, go through these pictures. If the questions are coming on this topic, then very uh, important to draw these figures. So these figures are very much explanatory. Okay. So thank you for watching. Please like, share, subscribe, Real Civil YouTube channel. Thank you. Thank you so much.